This award honors alumni within 15 years of graduating from Minnetonka High School for distinguished post-secondary academic achievement, professional achievement, distinguished leadership, and or distinguished service toward a greater good. Our first alumni is Kara Anansen from the class of 2003. Kara has a master's in social work from the University of Maryland in Baltimore. She started her career at the Public Defender's Office with a community law and action initiative called Just Kids Campaign, an effort to end the automatic prosecution of children as adults. Today, Kara is a director of family engagement for the Maryland Department of Juvenile Services, where she partners with families to ensure they are involved with decisions impacting their children while in the juvenile justice system. Anderson Kara is her former teacher, Kelly Kangas. Kara Anderson truly exemplifies a caring spirit. I remember her very well in high school as kind-hearted, smart, thoughtful, and always willing to help others. I had the gift of knowing her not only as a student, but also through our shared local church community. We sang in the concert choir together where she shared her singing talents and participated in youth group activities when she wasn't studying or playing softball. Every Wednesday night we practiced, and she showed her commitment to the group. Our choir had a wide range of ages, but there were more elderly members than not. I always loved that she attended, even though there weren't a lot of teens attending. Her smile illuminated the room, and her laughter after a funny Lena and Oli joke was fully appreciated. I always enjoyed seeing her at home on college breaks and catching up with her. So when I heard that she was receiving an alumni award from Minnetonka Schools, I was not surprised at all, because she had all the ingredients for success early on. Care for others, healthy competition, lifestyle, love for the arts, dedication to a common goal, and a balanced, faith-filled life. Congratulations, Kara, on your success, and I hope that you continue on your positive path around the sun. Can't wait to see what else your future holds. Hi, good morning. Thank you so much for this award. It's such a huge honor, and thanks to Ms. Kangas for the wonderful introduction. So I have to be honest, 17-year-old Kara would be pretty surprised today that, that present-day Kara was getting this award because I was just an average high school student. I had a three-something GPA, I was in general classes, I played on the softball team. The most rebellious thing I ever did was fake play my trumpet in the band. So I'd hold up my trumpet and I'd push the keys down, but I wouldn't actually play the trumpet. I actually got kicked out of band once because of it. Sorry about that, Mom. I got average SAT scores that got me into Warper College in Waverly, Iowa. The only people who thought I was above average were my parents, who are here today. Hi, Mom and Dad. Um, who are also Minnetonka uh, alumni. But the one thing that I did know when I left MHS is that I wanted to be involved in politics, which to me meant giving a voice to the voiceless and helping those in need. I knew this because of an experience that I had at Groveland Elementary. The first time I ever organized for policy change started with this, a spork. I like to call it Le Faire de Spork because uh, at Groveland Elementary we took French class. So in third or fourth grade, the school changed from using metal silverware to sporks. And being the environmentally conscious elementary student, I was really upset by this. Why would we change from metal silverware that we got to use over and over and over again to sporks? So I decided we were gonna do something about it. I got a group of students together and we took matters into our own hands. We built the uh, Eiffel Tower out of sporks. We worked together and researched and wrote a report on why we should stop using sporks, and then using the Eiffel Tower and our report, we got a meeting with our principal. I'd like to tell you that our organizing, you know, changed the school and we were able to move back to metal silverware, but that didn't happen. We still had to keep with the sporks, but something in me changed that day. I realized that my voice mattered and I had the opportunity to change something when I was upset about it. So fast forward to how this experience helped me today. I started my career as a social worker at the Public Defender's Office. I've ran a campaign to stop the automatic prosecution of youth as adults in Maryland, and currently am the Director of Family Engagement at the Department of Juvenile Services. During my tenure, I've been able to make numerous policy changes by partnering with those who are directly impacted who are willing to talk about their experiences. I've worked with a group of uh, concerned guidance counselors who were seeing an alarming number of students being expelled or suspended. We were able to organize and got 200 letters of support from all over the state and were able to implement the Positive Behavior Support and Interventions Program. I've worked with adults who were denied occupational licenses solely based on their criminal record. They were just average people wanting what we all want, family, friends, security, jobs, housing, and not to be judged for the worst thing that they ever did or were accused of doing. 
Together, we were able to change the law so they could not solely be denied an occupational license based on their criminal record. I partnered with young people who were charged as adults to stop the construction of a youth jail in Baltimore City and instead house them in juvenile detention facilities. We were able to do this because they were willing to share their experiences about being held in solitary confinement while they waited for their trial. My experiences here at Minnetonka High School created the foundation for an average graduate to work with ordinary people to make change. I get to see the same spark in them that I got when I started working with this spark. So what I hope you walk away with today is that you never know when the ordinary will lead to the exceptional and the average will lead to the extraordinary. Thanks again for this award. Thanks.